Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain about uh, the different uh, uh, techniques for the testing. Okay. So here we have three basic uh, uh, or main approaches of uh, testing techniques. That is nothing but uh, ad hoc testing, scan based techniques, and built in self test uh, technique. Okay. So here we have three main approaches to what is commonly called design for testability. They, these may be categorized as follows. The first one is ad hoc testing. Second one is scan based approaches. And the third one is built in self test. Okay. So here we have the scan based techniques. Uh, the controllability and observability can enhance uh, by providing more accessible logic nodes uh, with the use of additional primary input lines and multiplexers. Okay. However, the use of additional input pin, input output pins can be costly, not only for chip fabrication, but also for packaging. So what we discussed here uh, in the first case is in ad hoc uh, uh, testing, we are uh, making that uh, large circuits into partition, that is sub circuits, and we are applying, uh, uh, we are placing the multiplexers and we are applying the, we are applying the primary inputs. But uh, including of these additional input output pins, is difficult while uh, fabricating and packaging due to that uh, this disadvantage can be modified or can be rectified by using the scan based techniques okay so now we are going with the scan based techniques right so the scan design technique is structured approach to design a sequence of circuits for testability okay for testing the scan based techniques is a structured approach to design the sequential circuits for testability. In this uh, scan registers with both shift and parallel load capabilities are used. Okay. In this scan based technique, uh, we can use the scan registers. Okay. Scan registers are formed with the flip flops. Okay. So in this, uh, the scan registers with both uh, shift and parallel load capability, that is serial and parallel load capabilities are used in this scan based techniques. Okay. The storage cells in the registers are used as the observation points, control points, or both. Okay. So here we have the storage cells of registers is nothing but it is 8-bit register means 8 flip-flops we have to use. That means uh, eight, uh, each flip-flop can store one bit of information. So 8-bit uh, register means we have to use uh, 8 flip-flops. That is the storage elements what we have in these registers. On these registers, storage elements can be used as a observable and controllable points or both. Okay. So that is the point here. The main uh, important uh, uh, point here is nothing but in scan based techniques, the scan registers are very important. And those are the, in, in those ones, we have the storage elements. Those storage elements will be used as the controllable and observable pin points. Okay, so that is what here we have. A sequential circuit consists of a combinational circuit and some, and some storage elements. Using the scan design techniques, the testing of sequential circuit is reduced to the problem of testing a combinational circuit. So because of uh, using this scan based design techniques, the testing of the sequential circuit is very easy and that falls to the testing of combinational circuit itself. Okay, so that is what the importance, that is what the advantage of this scan based technique. Okay, so a sequence of circuit consists of a combination of circuit and some storage elements using the scan design technique. The testing of sequence of circuit is reduced to the problem of uh, a testing combination of circuit. Okay, so now we'll go with uh, how the block diagram will be there for the scan based design or the general structure of uh, the scan based design. The main, the, it consists of what scan path. Scan path is nothing but, uh, it is nothing but a memory elements that is deep flops generally we used. Okay, so here we have in the scan based design, the storage elements are connected to form a long serial shift register. If you connect here, if you, if you observe here, this one is one, this one is another, this one is another. All these are what uh, the storage elements. Generally, a sequential circuit consists of a combination of logic, including with the storage elements here. Okay, here the main important point is we have scan in input and the scan out. And at the same time, 
serial shift registers those registers are called as scan path are also called as scan registers okay so here the main scan based te technique uh, is have we have two types one is two types of modes that is in test mode and at the same time in normal mode okay here we have in the scan based design the storage elements are connected storage elements are connected to form a long serial shift register then th those are called as what scan path by using multiplexers and a mode that is mode means here this scanned uh, based technique consists of two modes that is test mode and normal mode okay in the normal mode uh, the all the flip flops or the scan registers will be acts like a normal operation but uh, in the test mode okay so the testing process will take place that is what here we have by using multiplexers and a mode control signal so if you observe here this is the mode control signal and this is the scan path and we have scanning scanning is nothing but uh, applying of the test vectors depending on the mode of the scan register so if the mode is nothing but the test uh, mode control signal is test okay then scanning will be applied and the final output or final path output will consider as the scan out okay so in this test mode the scanning signal is clocked into the scan path that means here we have scanning that is uh, placed into the what the scan path after that uh, uh, and the output of the last stage of the latch or the flip flop we are using is considered as the scan out okay so in the test mode the scanning signal is clocked into the scan path and the output of the last stage is uh, scanned out. In the normal mode, the scanning path is disabled. Okay. So already I told that we have here two test modes. One is at the uh, two modes of uh, the scan registers or scan based techniques. Uh, out of that, first one is test mode. In this test mode, the sign in uh, the scanning signal will be applied to the scan path. Okay. So this is the scan path. At this point, I'm applying scanning and the output of last stage, we will consider as the corresponding scan out, that is output value. Okay. So in the normal mode, the scanning will be disabled. And at the same time, the inputs will be applied to the combination logic and we'll get the corresponding outputs. Okay. So this is about uh, how we can have this uh, general structure of uh, scan based design. Okay. Next one here, how we can test the sequence. What I told uh, that is summarized here, set the mode. So I have to test this uh, uh, circuit means, first what I have to do, I have to take mode of the uh, control signal that is in the test mode, okay? So that is the point. So set the mode to test, uh, uh, let latches accept data from the scan input. So if you place this uh, test uh, mode, uh, then what happened is, the scanning will apply the input signals. Okay, that is uh, test vectors. Verify the scan path by shifting in and out of the test data. Okay, so here it will be obtained. Uh, the output of this one is connected to the input uh, to this one. This output is connected to this and finally we'll get the scan out. Okay, scanning the desired state vector into the shift register. Okay, that means we are applying the test vectors into this one by using the scanning process. Okay, apply the test pattern to the primary input pins, right? So these are the primary input pins. We are applying the test vectors. Okay, set the mode to the normal and observe the primary outputs of the circuit after sub sufficient time for propagation. Okay, next what here, assert the circuit clock for one machine cycle to capture the outputs of the combination logic into registers. Okay, now, Return the test mode, scan out the contents of the register and at the same time scan in the test patterns. So like that, whatever you are getting at this point, scan out uh, and at the same time, the circuit outputs, what we'll got primary outputs, uh, we will compare and we will predict the, what is the defect uh, or what is the false that will be obtained, whether the circuit is giving correct output or not. Okay, so this is the testing sequence uh, uh, of this scan based technique. Okay. Here we have the storage cells in the scan design can be implemented by using what? Edge triggered flip-flop. Okay, master slave flip-flops or level sensitive latches 
controlled by the complementary clock signal. Already I told that uh, here edge triggered flip flops can be used, uh, or master slave flip flops can be used, or level sensitive latches can be used as the storage cells. Okay, the sequential circuit consists of storage cells. The storage cells is these types. Okay, an important approach among scan based design is the level sensitive scan design. It is nothing but what level sensitive scan design, which incorporates both level sensitive and the scan path approach using the shift register. An important approach among the scan based design is what level sensitive scan design. So it will apply incorporate both the level sensitivity and at the same time, same time scan path the approach using the shift registers. Okay, so what we discussed, uh, the level sensitivity is uh, to ensure that sequential circuit response is independent of the transient characteristics of the circuit, such as the component and wire delays. Okay, so what is the importance of including or incorporating this uh, level sensitivity means? Okay, so it will ensure that uh, the sequential circuit response is independent of the transient uh, characteristics. Uh, Okay, of this circuit, such as the component and wire delays. Okay, thus LSSD removes the hazards and races. So what I told hazards is nothing but hazards is nothing but due to the delay in the uh, signal what we are applying. So we'll get the we cannot get the expected outputs that is called as hazards. So that hazards will be eliminated by using the level sensitivity. Okay, next one is the boundary scan test method is also used for testing printer circuit boards and multi-chip modules carrying multiple chips, okay? Boundary scan test method is used for to test these things, that is PCBs and multi-chip modules, okay? On the negative side, that means the disadvantages of uh, this one. For previous one ad hoc testing, we have uh, uh, different disadvantages uh, uh, because the testing is difficult there. So we are go going with scan-based techniques it has its own advantage, but it has disadvantages also. Okay, on the negative side, scan design uses more complex latches, flip flops, and input output pins and interconnection wires, and thus requires more chip area. So, to accommodate all these things, so more flip flops we are using, and at the same time, input to, uh, output pins and interconnection wires, because of that, the area occupied by this design technique, scan based design technique, will be more. Okay, that means we have to provide more chip area for the testing. Okay, so that is the one disadvantage we have. Okay, and at the same time, the testing time for test pattern is also increased due to the shift time in long registers. Okay, we have we are considering that here serial uh, shift registers due to that the test time will increases. If you use the parallel uh, path, uh, parallel uh, registers, so the test time we can reduce. Okay. So this is about the scan based techniques and at the same time ad hoc based techniques. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe our channel.